generation. When I, when I see kids, never in life, because I never go near a child, but, <laughs> but like on TV and movies, I see kids like saying, fuck you, mom. And yeah. I'm like, if somebody who wasn't your child did that, You'd be immensely mm. offended, whereas the parents just take it. Mm. What's up with that? Well, people, people don't like to admit that they can dislike their children or children in general. And... <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I, I, but, I know what you mean. And right. I, but they can. No, they totally can. I mean, one, one of the things you see very commonly as a, as a clinical psychologist is families who, family members who hate each other. And who, it's like they have their hands around each other's necks for 20 years and are squeezing very slowly, trying to strangle each other. And so, and you see parents who clearly detest their children and have ever since they were born. And part of that, I know it's a terrible way of looking at things, but it's true. It's so and, true. And one of the things, what... No, parents can find that in me because I don't have kids. Yeah, well, it, no. that makes it safe. They do. But, they, but, like, uh, no, but they say things like... Yeah, I love my kids, but if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't. Yeah, well, okay. Like, well, don't okay. tell the kid that. Well, so that, but that's so bad. Look, it is so it's bad. so bad, because the thing is about, about little kids is, is that little kids have a, have a wonderful element to them. And if they, and most people spontaneously like little kids, they'll give them a chance. And if you have little kids, one of the things that's so wonderful about it is that when you bring them out into the world, even people who are, aren't in good shape, rough people, and who, who, who maybe don't have much patience for humanity... It brings out the best in them, you know? And so people are willing to give your kids a chance. But then if they misbehave, especially if they're rude and, and they don't have any respect and they're whiny and they don't know how to listen, then people don't like your kids and you don't. And then the kids, your kids go out into a world where no one likes them. And that's what you, well, that's what you but, do but, to your kids if you don't why, like them, is you send them out into that world. But, right. But, but how, did, how did parents get so pussy whipped? By, the, by their own children. I mean, that's really what it is. I mean, it's, it's like they act the way a guy acts when he's super sprung on some chick and, and just lets her walk all over him. And whatever she does, he puts up with. I, I don't get how, how we got to that Well, place. I think parents are afraid of exercising authority because they tend to think that authority will crush the creative spirit of their child. Oh, fuck. Well, I, that is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, okay. No, I, I... See, everything this man says, I think, is common sense. I, he, you're, you guys you're, should have a baby together. Yeah, we should have a baby together. <laughs> He's, it's like... It's like... We get crucified for what we say. I don't think anything we say is controversial at all. It's do you, hard. Do you think he's controversial? It's hard. Have, I just had a kid. It's hard figuring it out. And oh, by yes. the way, everyone is neurotic. That's why we have a hard time raising children <laughs> the right way, because we live in the most neurotic, insane, overconnected, crazy world. Yes. Donald Trump is our president.